So hello, we are here today with the launch of a new Games Workshop game. We are indeed. Exciting times. It's very exciting times. So it's um, obviously had a bit of a build up over the last couple of weeks. Probably one of the biggest sort of marketing pushes Games Workshop have done recently. But yeah, there's been lots of lots of uh, non kind of like Games Workshop websites getting copies to review and seems to have a pretty good buzz about it as well. There is, there's been uh, sort of well, they've been teasing it for quite a while. I mean, when, when did they originally announce Shades Bar? It was towards the beginning of the year, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it, was, it was quite a while ago. At one of the uh, US events, I think. Was it around the time of Shadow Wars? Am I thinking? Maybe a little bit later than that. Maybe but a little yeah, bit later. It's definitely been, been teased a long time, and then, yeah, big promotion in the last few weeks. But uh, yeah, it is Shades Uh The competitive, ultimate competitive miniatures game or something, I think, they're, yeah, is their tagline. The tagline, yep. Which uh, it does look very good. So, from all accounts, what we've kind of read and seen about it so far, combination of, I suppose, miniatures game, board game, with a kind of deck building element. Yeah. So all those things kind of appeal to me. So yeah, definitely. Looking forward to, to getting into this. So uh, the box that we've got here is the starter kind of set. So you get all the tokens and the cards and boards and stuff that you need. As long as we, also the first two warbands. Yep, first two warbands. So you get the um, the Corn Blood Reavers and the Stormcast Liberators. Yeah, which is cool. And then you also get a deck of cards for each of those warbands, plus some additional cards. So once you've learnt the rules, you can start building your own deck. Uh, and then there'll be additional warbands coming out in the future. There is. So we've got the 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 Death. I can't I can't pronounce them. The what, something guard. The the Sepul Sepulcher guard. Sepulcher guard. And you've also got Iron Jaw. Orcs as well. Yeah, so, and then there's Skaven and some dwarves on the horizon as well. Fire Slayers, I think. Fire yeah. Slayers, yeah. Yeah. So, yes, I think, well, from what, what we've seen, I think it's going to get a lot of support from um, GW. So, let's, uh, let's see what the game looks yeah. like, eh? Yeah, let's have a look. So, popping in. Speaking of the Orcs, they're on the side of the box. Yeah. Let's have a look. So there's the, uh, the Orc Gang. I think they are up for pre order today. Day out next week, I believe. No, I don't think they're off. Is it the following week? It could be next week. Yeah, they're not far off anyway. And there's the uh, the undead warband who look really cool. I do like yeah. those guys. Yeah, they look cool. So we get the board and the tokens. Uh, decent kind of card stock. Um, kind of blood bowl kind of quality board. I'd yeah, say. it lo looks like it from here. So these these fold out, don't they? Um, yeah. So then you've got two two different boards that fold out. Um, as part of your kind of army construction, you pick which board that you want. So I imagine in the future we might see more of those, and there might be some strategy to I don't know how much scenery is obscured on the board, and yeah, you know how much space yeah. you might you might have an army that's quite aggressive, so you're not too fussed about having open environments to charge. So you've through. got like your objective tokens there. I think they feel like your activations. Yeah, they, they all look really nice. So next up, we've got the rule book. Apologies, I'll try and get into this thing. Yeah, they're very tightly shrink wrapped. <laughs> very, very tightly shrink wrapped. So we'll look, we'll look at this properly in the, in the future, but of the instructions and the rule book, uh, quite, a, quite a thin rule book. Um, heard it's quite, quite straightforward to learn, but it's one of those games where you want to kind of master it, even though it's quite simple yeah, to pick the up. More, the more, I mean, I can, I can see them releasing like booster packs for the cards yeah. with extra um, objectives and powers and stuff. Maybe well, each, some more universal. Each ones. of the warbands is going to have some generic uh, cards as well, mm. which is a really cool idea. Yeah, um, has to encourage you to get them all. It is. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're all going to buy them all. Let's be honest. Yeah, probably. So then we get the two uh, warbands in here. So there's the Stormcast guys, uh, printed on blue plastic, so you don't have to paint them. Just push fit, and you know who's who. Uh, and then the corn ones. It's quite hard to see these with the coloured plastic. So what I'll do is we'll pop in some shots of these uh, for you guys. Um, there's push fit, so you don't need any glue. A um, couple of components each, moulded bases. Yeah, the nice bases. For, um, for kind of snap fit ones, they're really nice, aren't they? They are, very detailed. So they're really cool. Probably fit quite nicely into your um, forces if you decided to, you know, bulk up your Well, if you look on the or... Games Workshop site today, there's actually war scrolls for both of them to just... Oh, is there? Your army. Oh, I didn't know that. It's really cool. Oh, that is cool. I think the, uh, the corn force is about 100 points. I can't remember how much the Stormcast are. Um, like a unique unit. Yeah, a unique unit. I suppose like the regiments of renown of old. Yeah. So it'd be yeah. cool to see that for all the factions. Yeah, that'd be very cool. Uh, so we get some custom dice. So... Um, Successes are based on what type of weapon you've got, so there's different facings, and obviously that determines how many res uh, results you get on them. And then we get 
some decks. So a deck for the Blood Reavers and a deck for the Liberatus. Now it says that the you know when you first play, use these decks. Mm -hmm. Just I suppose they'll be nicely balanced. Yeah. against each other so you can pick up the rules. Very similar to Magic the Gathering whenever you buy a new deck of yeah, those. Exactly. Tend to, and then obviously you decide to mix them up then. But we also get a hefty deck of uh, additional cards as well. So once you've got a few games under your belt you can then, once you've learned the rules and the kind of tricks and tactics yeah. for each unit, you can start making your own thing. So the, I believe there should be enough cards then to make a, a custom deck for each faction. Yeah. Um, you also get, which is really, really handy, a big pile of uh, baggies to put all your tokens and stuff in, which is, always gets thumbs up when board games come oh, yeah, to put yeah, them in. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. And then the last thing in the box, I think, is going to be... An know, advert. Just an advert. Rage of Sigmar. Cool, I thought we were going to see some of the, the other warbands in there, but maybe not. No, maybe, maybe not, the maybe not. So, just grab off the floor, because it's fallen down. There's a couple more releases for Shades by today. Uh, they've released some custom sleeves. So obviously you don't need these, but I know a lot of people who play like magic and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, especially if you're, um, say for example, you have a gaming club and you take them, take them to different events and you want to keep your cards in pristine condition. Yeah, yeah. just stops them getting tassy. And exactly. I quite like these, so I thought I'd pick them up because they're a bit of fun, aren't they? Yeah. And I believe they're going to have one of these sets for each uh, faction as well, so that's cool. Fab. Yeah, no, that's very cool. So we're going to um, get these built, crack open the game, learn the rules, and then... Um, Hopefully have a game for you guys to see. Yeah, wish us luck. See you soon.